Hi everyone, just a very quick review of the August edition of Radio User Magazine. Um, I'm a big supporter of anything in print that uh, supports our hobby and Radio User Magazine along with Radcom uh, and Practical Wireless is about it uh, on a sort of regular basis. Obviously we have the WRTH which I always buy a copy every year but you know you should support your local radio magazine. Um, the August edition is quite interesting actually, um, not that it isn't interesting any other time but um, the editor Georg has uh, an article on um, the very low uh, frequency uh, broadcast from for Alexanderson Day, SAQ, and he's using uh, an SDR Play uh, RSP Duo. Um, I think he's actually mentioned me because I lent him what, uh, a galvanic isolator, which uh, I didn't realise was going to appear in, in an article, but uh, there it is. Um, I'm very pleased to do so. Uh, I, think, I think it um, helped uh, improve his signal to noise, uh, as it has done for me. So that was interesting to see. And then also there's an article from our friend Tim Kirby reviewing the Whistler TRX2 digital scanner, um, which is also very interesting. But as interesting, again, is the fact that um, you can actually win one of these uh, devices worth £480 by answering a simple question, the answer of which I'm sure... Um, uh, you can find in the article. There you go. There's a big tip for everybody. But uh, what a great prize. Um, that's a radio that I'd like to have in my collection. Um, and the only way I could justify it would be to win it and not have to buy it. So uh, I think you all know where I'm coming from on that. Uh, and then on page 50, I'd actually almost forgotten. I, when I went to California uh, to a conference this year, I think it was end of April, early May, um i was i was in a cinema the conference was about nuclear magnetic resonance which is kind of the physics that the uh, which is the basis of mri mri you know mri scanners in hospitals and i used to go to this conference every year but this is the first time i've been in many years um but it just so happened to be uh, in california south of monterey in a cinema as i say uh, and i took with me a texan pl880 which I bought very cheaply from the Harwell Amateur Radio Society rally in February. Superb receiver. Uh, I also took an SDR Play RSP Duo, and I took a Benito Mega Loop FX antenna. With this is the kind of H field loop that's completely portable because you can run it five volts USB, and the loop itself is a cable. Um, you know, you can pack this equipment into your rucksack or whatever and um, I didn't get pulled at security in at Heathrow nor San Francisco airport coming back so this is equipment that you can take with you around the world without worrying about having to answer pointed questions from security officials. Um, Copied some interesting stuff in California um, on medium wave probably the best thing I, I heard was um, J-O-U-B N-H-K this is a Japanese uh, medium wave radio station on 774 kilohertz so this is a trans-pacific signal uh, which was a real thrill i've never done it before i'm told that in general trans-pacific signals are more difficult to copy than transatlantic for the obvious reason that the distances are generally much much greater so that was a real boom for me to to hear a japanese radio station on medium wave there's a video of it on oxford shortwave log somewhere um and then there's a bit of background, that's the the view from my uh, kind of apartment where I was staying in California in a cinema, lovely, lovely place. Uh, not far from Pebble Beach and the famous golf course. And then my logs are also uh, on the uh, uh, at the end of the article along with um, a couple of others. Um, while I was there, I kind of heard a full complement of North Korea, Voice of Korea and... Um, KCBS Pyongyang and BS Pyongyang etc on kind of on 90 meters and sort of floating around between 120 and 90 meters you you know uh, uh, North Korea doesn't really sort of follow the international guidelines on such things um, I was also really nice to hear um, New Zealand Radio New Zealand International so clearly in California that obviously we're not used to here in Europe anymore and also Radio Nacional de Amazonia Brasilia which I haven't heard over here for quite a long time um obviously i hear them in brazil but to hear them from california that was also nice so yeah a list of the uh stations some of the stations that i copied while i was over there so that's all again that's all in um radio user magazine august edition so uh, i just thought i would point that out um i meant to send some more dx 
reports to uh, Chrissy and Georg uh, this month, but yesterday I had a groin hernia operation, um, which is a kind of one day in, arrive in the morning, have the operation under a general anaesthetic, leave at the end of the day. So, um, and I, I didn't get a chance to do that, but I will do soon. But anyway, there you go, ready to use a magazine. Support your local radio magazine, that's what I say. So um, everybody should go out and buy this magazine. At, better still get a subscription, because it is brilliant. That's my two penneth on it. Okay, well, on the hottest day of the year, apparently, or actually the hottest day in the UK since records began, I wish you all a best 73s. Cheers. <laughs>